Welcome back, everyone. Once chemotherapy, radiation, mastectomies, and in some cases, reconstruction surgeries are over, many breast cancer survivors ask the question, what now? Well, for a group of women in town, the answer is to take back their bodies with fitness, fellowship, and an itty bitty bikini. Meet the breast cancer to bikini ladies in tonight's Health Watch. They have power and perspective. Pushing together towards an impressive goal. We're working for 22 weeks to be on stage in bikini. It won't be easy, but this is nothing compared to the battle they've already endured. I lost a lot of weight and my hair. I had lost my breasts. They're brave, they're beautiful, they're survivors. I was diagnosed at the age of 31. I was literally on my deathbed. I'm not doing this two-step slow dance with cancer. I think the hardest thing I did was tell my kids. But after all the chemo, blood tests. I get blood about um, every six months. Scans, surgeries, and unbearable treatment. You doing good? Oh. These women are on a new six month journey to take back control of their bodies. And we are taking you behind the scenes every step of the way. Oh. Menace Budabalski is the owner of Evoke Fitness in Reno. Let's try to go a little faster, ladies. Oh, She's serious? She and her team are donating their time, space, and expertise to get these women into the best shape of their lives for the Nevada State Bodybuilding Figure and Bikini Championships in June. I was so excited to be able to help these women find confidence and empowerment through exercise. Three days a week, they're here building muscle and relationships with women who can relate. It's such an inspiration to be next to someone that, you know, is has fought the battle that you have or currently is, and we're all supporting each other. And breast cancer to bikinis couldn't come at a better time for one warrior in particular. 42-year-old Shelby Adams has metastatic breast cancer. It's spread to her bones, and she needs treatment the rest of her life. But the first day here went great. I have a lot of energy right now, but I have been, I've been off chemo for two and a half weeks. Just days later, it takes all the strength and support of her family to get through some of the most painful pokes. These shots shut down her estrogen producing organs for chemo to work. The reality is I'm not going to beat this. It, it, my body will at some point give out and be like, I can't do it anymore. But until then, Shelby wants to live and do the things she never imagined. Things like a fitness competition where she's not alone where courage fuels their commitment, where their battle wounds are embraced. It's a sisterhood of survivors, encouraging each other along the way. And beginning next month, we'll dive even deeper into their personal stories as they work towards that fitness goal. Plus, there's a special fundraiser for Shelby tomorrow at Midtown Bar called Ribs and Zin. Proceeds will help Shelby pay for treatment, which costs $11,000 a month. Doors open at 5. To make a donation, you can also go to KTVN.com.